Would you date her? I think I'd check her. But how would you know if it's a, it's a her, it's a him, it's a Z, it's a Z? I mean, man, it's a shame she cut her hair. She looks like she could have been a pretty girl. But she's chosen this road. And it's sad. What socialist does to you? You guys leaving? Get the bus? Get the bus. Get the bus. Bienvenido. Gracias. Gracias. Lo vemos. Mm. Going out for a rip there. <laughs> the West is the best. 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 Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> And then jog a bit, and I'm like, you guys are fucking weak. You had me five on one and couldn't do shit. And then I fucking followed them the whole time they were coming down here, talking shit at like 20 feet. And then I got here and I'm talking to cops. I'm like, I want to press charges on these motherfuckers. So are they going to help you? Wait, well, when this is what happened. One yeah, cop fucking yeah, stonewalled me. This black cop didn't like me, and he was stonewalling everything I was doing. Yeah, yeah. The white cop was like, "Let's do this right now. We can charge him before we go." The black cop's like, "Oh, we'll get it tomorrow. Oh, we'll send you some information. Oh, blah 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 blah." We're never gonna find that answer. No, and I said they're here right now. Let's press charges. Let's fucking press charges. And I can show you, like, they were under a tree when they attacked me, but I made it a bit of the way before they fucking tackled me. Well, I just walked up to them. I'll show you guys a video. We want to talk in there, eh? Yo, this is me walking up to confront tell, Antifa. Dude, tell your story to us, man. Yeah, I'm him. fucking fully down, bro. 100%. Fucking A. Yo, uh, can, we, can we publish this? Yeah. yeah, and then here's, and like, I was filming, but I don't know, somehow, like, I thought I was filming when they started hey, running Anthony, after me. man, tell us the story on camera. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. And then look, here's the, here's the video of me fucking being tackled to the ground. This, I can't believe you fucking have this and this is literally Dude, happening. I was like, okay, I was getting fucking, there were five of them hanging off of me and I was like, okay, I'm in the exact situation Christian was in, but there's nobody around. I'm just by myself. And I'm like, holy fuck, I hope to God that there's some fucking security or something around there. And then I was like, you know what? There's no security. There's no nothing. I gotta fucking just stand up and get out of here. Where, where was this? Down there? This is on the fucking cell side of Queen's Park. I was walking up. I see all these guys in black They start putting on these red masks I'm like, oh, this is gonna be funny I'm gonna go fucking ask these guys if they're Antifa I didn't think, I think they were, I thought they were gonna be like Oh, I'm not Antifa, I'm not Antifa We're gonna start over, okay? Yeah And yeah, do I have tears on my shirt? People are telling me my Yeah, man Whoa, wow Oh, what the heck? He's fucking telling the truth, man He's fucking telling the truth Did you hear that? Yeah, this is fucking uh, Them tackling Do you think they knew who you were? No, they had no idea yeah, and I just, it's because I went up to them and started asking them who's Antifa and I said, I've been filming you guys. Because I thought when I said, oh, I've been filming you guys, so fuck off, I thought they were going to be like, oh man, we're not Antifa, get out of here. But they just fucking ran at me and tackled me to the ground, bro. Wow. Are you ready? 
Hey, this is Alex Van Ham with Freebird Media. I'm here to support Rally for the Halifax Five, and I'm speaking with Anthony Mayfield, who just got jumped by Antifa, yep. proving once again that Antifa are always the violent aggressors. So, Anthony, why don't you tell us what happened, dude? Yeah, so I'm down here visiting some friends. I got invited to come out to this rally for the uh, Proud Boys here, which I was happy to do. As I get off the subway, I'm a Vancouverite. I'm not from Toronto. As I get off the subway, I'm trying to find the rally grounds, and I see these ten people in black, and then they have uh, they're putting on these red masks. And so I'm like, oh, this is going to be funny. I fucking pull out my phone and I walk over there because I wanted to get them while they're putting their masks on, but I didn't quite have time. So I get there just as their masks are getting on, and then uh, I'm like, hey, are you guys Antifa? And they're like, who's asking? And this little shrimpy guy gets up in my face. He's like, who's asking? I'm like, bro, like, stop acting tough. I got you guys on video before you started putting your masks on. As soon as I said that, I thought they were going to be like, man, get the fuck out of here or something. As soon as I said that, all of them start rushing me. Like, in the middle of fucking Canada, they start grabbing on me. I was, you know, I'm a track spinner, so I thought I could run away for sure. And I'm like, okay, yeah, come catch me. I go like that, they fucking grab me by the hook of my backpack and tackle me onto the ground. Can we see your shirt? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I... I was, uh, I got some green marks here, and then I just got to the rally, and I was telling people about this, and they're like, yeah, your shirt is fucking torn oh, up shit. too, man. Oh, damn. And so Ooh. I, I haven't even oh, seen this God, yet. Oh, my God, two? That's two. Oh, I haven't shit. even seen this That's yet. Bad. I'll have to see this when I get home, or I can take off my shirt or something. But I literally, and my buddy Christian, he got jumped by Antifa as well, but apparently there was a lot of people around, and he got his uh, shoulder dislocated. So I'm, I got fucking five <laughs> Antifa up, man? hanging oh, off me. There's nobody around. There's like some Asian tourists. And I'm thinking, you know, if there's not security, I might be, if there's not security, I might be in a tough situation. But, you know, push-ups for Europa, I do my push-ups every day, I try and stay in shape. I played football, I played running back, I know what it feels like to have a fucking bunch of people hanging off you. So I'm on the ground, I literally have all these people fucking hanging on me, and all I'm thinking is if I don't get the fuck out of here, you know, it's me. I'm the only one who's going to get myself out of the situation. I'm fucking tearing my shit like that, finally, their last hand gets off. I run over like 20 feet and I turn around, and I'm like, you guys are fucking weak. You had five of me on you and you couldn't do shit. And that's the same thing I said when I started confronting them and yelling at them. Here I said, you know, you had your five fucking guys hanging off me and you couldn't fucking do shit. What do you think you're going to do with 30 or 40 fucking Proud Boys here? You guys are going to get crushed into a pulp. And uh, yeah, I talked to the police officer. I said, look, I want to press charges. They said, okay, go to the building here and see if you're under a camera. Jog down to the building. They tackled me right under a big black circular security camera. Wow. I go talk to security in the building. I go talk to security in the building and I say, uh, oh, lower. <laughs> security in the building is like, yeah, they take my contact information and shit. They're like, yeah, if you get an officer down here, we'll release this video right now. Because I wanted to charge these Antifa before they left. So I go there. They say, yeah, send an officer. I jog back here. There's two officers and the one officer, uh, maybe there's a racial thing or something. I don't know. But he was actually kind of stonewalling. The one officer who I talking to originally, he's like, okay, we'll get this done today. We'll move on this quickly. We'll try and charge them. And as I'm standing there talking to the officer, Antifa are on the other side of the street, and they start doing this kind of thing, start doing this thing, because they knew, I told them, I'm going to fucking press charges on you guys, when we were all confronting each other here. And so they started doing this thing, and they fucking march off, and they knew it was because I was hot on the case, and I was going to get these motherfuckers charged. But I told the officer, look, at a certain point, I turned, and it was just fight or flight, I was just trying to get out there. But the short guy, the first guy to attack me, I said, I, he's right there, I can positively ID him. I want to charge him right now. Nothing happened. Wow. All right, well, yep. I appreciate you sharing that with us. Yep. Yeah, and I'm going to be out of here soon. Like, I'm just coming here to visit friends. So uh, there's a good chance that I'm out of here quickly. I want to move on this case quickly, but uh, VPD is, uh, or uh, the Toronto Police Department, you know, they said maybe they're going to call tomorrow and try and get the video and stuff. So I, I told them, look, we can't let their, their terroristic tactics work with the mask. You know, we can't say, oh, because they had a mask on, they're allowed to tackle you in the middle of a legislature, in the middle of provincial ground, and they just get away with it. And they said, yeah, they fight dirty, they fight dirty. But like I said, I think the one cop for sure wanted to charge him right now, but the other cop has said, oh, we'll do this tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So that's that, man. Let's hope you get them. Cheers.